Do you want to intro music, me, boys? Hello and welcome to the very first Last Chance podcast. Today we're joined by the amazing Chris and Aiden of the band Private Function. Sounds of Jerry. <laughs> howdy. Well, good morning. Yeah, howdy. Hello. Afternoon. Good, good evening. Good night. How are we doing? Good, mate. Yeah, really good. Hey. What's happening? Uh, oh, not bad. How do you feel like popping our uh, popping the Last Chance Virginity it's podcast? It's an honor. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, it's thank you for inviting one. us. Yeah, it's as a, for you. As you can see, we've put a lot of effort into the uh, the decor. Yep, I, I like this. Yeah, this we, is cool. We, this is cool. It, that is a pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's this guy how, is. Really cool. What do you have to say? (laughs) 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 It it kind of looks painful, but it kind of looks like an easy way just to fucking to live life, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. Just a head on a a head on a hook. Just a head on a hook. Head on a hook. Head on a hook. This uh, Oh, nice. Yeah, that's unfortunate. There's a doodle on that one. There is, like a oh, baby doodle, geez. like a literal baby doodle. So, Shane, can I ask questions? You can ask questions. This, is, this, is, we, this is an open forum. Nice. It's you like know? a TED Talk, but with more oh, alcohol. Well, this you like know. A, like a debate. You're going to have the worm. The, what, you're gonna have the fucking, yeah. We could have the worm, you're isn't the worm it? The worm, worm just keeps going fucking <laughs> down. <laughs> down. The worm. <laughs> All right, I think I have to do the worm to get the worm back up. <laughs> No, I, I can take questions. You're saying anti-Semitic things and keep going down. <laughs> but you know, what, what, what it's day? a podcast. Isn't that what they do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, what day is is this of your of your fundraiser? You know, as of today, we're at um, seven weeks. Seven weeks. Seven Holy weeks. How many Holy. days is seven weeks? Seven times seven. I'm not good at math. Uh, Forty-two. Uh, Four. Two hundred and twelve. It feels like two hundred. One hundred forty-four. Oh, <laughs> <right. laughs> yeah. Way it's wrong. A, it's yeah. a lot. Um, Fifty-two or something. I don't know. Hell, mate. And you know, fucking feeling, feeling pretty good. well. I know eight yeah. eights is sixty-four because of Nintendo sixty-four. That's how I remember that as a child. How the hell that's does the that work? Eight eights is sixty-four. It was just a natural. Yeah, I, that is right. That, I think it's about right. Yeah, it sounds yeah. right. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not good at the eight time eights, table. Nintendo 64. Welcome to Mathematics with Shane, Chris, and Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jesus. There's going to be some really Ill, ill-educated kids two out there. Two times two is... I don't know, brother. It's and that was <laughs> Mathematics with Shane, Chris, and Aiden. Ah, <laughs> uh, perfect. Yeah. Um, so what's been going on, boys? You've had a pretty big couple of months there with the, uh, the old private function kicking off. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've been s- sleeping on the couch because it's, uh, 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 we, we released it and, uh, that, that, that for me, that means, uh, I'm done for at least a week. Yeah, it was <laughs> hardcore. It's really a full on, really, it's really hard being in a band. <laughs> it's just fucking annoying. <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. <laughs> yeah. It's an everyday proposition. It is. Yeah. Just, Very little return. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zero return. Diminishing returns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but it was cool. The album came out, which we really stoked on. Uh, the scratch cover was funny. Uh, we have to. We didn't. We forgot to legally mm. put in because uh, the covers have you know a scratchy on the front cover, and uh, we were meant to put a legal disclaimer saying about uh, latex. Uh, what do you call it? Like when you're allergic? To oh, latex we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't have to, but uh, I thought it was a good idea. But we forgot. Yeah. Well, now, so hopefully, no one has latex allergies and your fingers aren't all messed yeah, up. I feel like if you've got a latex allergy, though, you're pretty on top of it. Yeah, I you think know what so, I mean. Yeah. Like you're not getting gloves. You're not Is scratching. There, how do you do condoms? How do you do condoms? I think there are latex-free condoms. Yeah, yeah. Make they, like old, they make them like out of uh, sheep intestines. Yeah, well, yeah they kind of like a sausage, like a sausage or something like lambskin. Fucking. Yeah, I think it would be. Isn't that a thing back in the day? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You know yeah, what? You right. know, I saw a funny thing when I was in, I think it was in Thailand and uh, I was watching uh, some football game there and um, the soccer was on and there was like, I think it was Tiger Beer. And so I guess in Thailand, they have some sort of law where you can't advertise like a beer brand during a during a sporting match. And so in the in the halftime show, I guess Tiger have made Tiger uh, Water? <laughs> so they've Tiger got Water. Tiger Water, yeah. And so like the, the halftime ad was this ad was these people drinking these bottles of water that had the Tiger logo and like... Mmm, tiger, water, <laughs> tiger. Ooh. And I was like, what a cool way to get around it. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah. I love it, that. But tiger water, I wonder what, it's just literally Yeah, water. does it taste I good? Guess so, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Water from the freshest tigers. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'd imagine what that involves. Yeah, totally. But, um, yeah, fuck. So I, I suppose you don't think about all the fucked up things, but Adelaide actually, everyone says Western Australia sounds like a different country, but Adelaide. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're lucky as well because so the news got passed down from the ABC. I think the ABC asked the Premier and the Premier sent it to Dini Sulio, who's the uh, Liquor and Gaming Commissioner of South Australia. And then he gave us a full, he was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> what, what a legend. And uh, he gave us like a full physical license to run gambling in South Australia. Jesus. The so private Christ. function is officially a gambling corporation. Yeah, it was, it was called an unlawful lottery. Yeah. An I think unlawful so. lottery. Yeah, that's what like that's what it says on the, like the you know the 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 certificate or whatever of like That's um, like the most gangster thing you can yeah, An unlawful have. lottery. Totally. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. How many unlawful lotteries get approval? I don't right. know. Yeah. Uh, what wouldn't that make them lawful? Well, yeah, I don't know. Like is yeah, it'll just be a lottery. Yeah, it's a lottery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fully endorsed. Yeah. Unlawful lottery is a really good name for like an Alice Cooper record or something. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I want that's to hear that song. That's sick. I heard this really weird, you know, that Alice Cooper song. I never heard of it. I think it's from like 2005 and it's called Can't Sleep, Clowns Will Eat Me. No. Do you know this song? Yeah, it's some weird B-side. It's on, it's on really? this album called really Dogtown. It's such a good song. We don't have Here like, it is now. Yeah. Do we, do we have the <laughs> ability to do that? Do we have like editing capabilities, guys? Maybe. Guys, slam it in right now. No, nice. look, no just, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> that's right. I, I think he gave us the... So hit pause. <laughs> hit pause, open up a new window. Ah, the worm, in. the worm, <laughs> the worm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, bow, bow. Um, fuck, uh, fuck, Alice Cooper, though. <laughs> wow. He, like, he could literally do anything and it'd be lovely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Seems yeah. like an absolute pleasure of a man. Yeah, and, and a weird golfer. Yeah, like that, totally. that uh, doesn't surprise me though. It's like, yeah, this makes sense. Yeah. You're listening to Alice yeah. Cooper and Nights Night. with Alice Cooper. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah. Do they still broadcast hey, that here? Alice yeah. Cooper here. Well, in a... Oh, I don't know if it's here, but it's a, it's on a bunch. It's like a syndicated radio show. He still yeah, does it because it used to, it used to be on here somewhere way back, and I can't just yeah, can't it was like remember the or something. Was yeah, it that, was, smooth? that was smooth. Maybe, maybe gold or triple. Maybe what smooth? What's the other one? Yeah, no, it was like like cla- it was some sort of classic rock, but it wasn't. What was smooth before it was smooth? Oh, uh, yeah, it was something else. I, I, rag and roll radio. Rag and roll radio. Were you saying that there was, when you were growing up in Melbourne, that there was a... Laugh radio. Laugh radio. So what yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. was laugh, laugh radio? Laugh radio was awesome. It was the it was a comedic radio station. Like, it played, like, Monty Python and, and like... Oh, for real? Like, the Simpsons songs and, like, I don't know, fucking... Like just comedy, like, Weird Al? Weird Al. And like so was this in, like, the 90s? Yeah, when I was a kid, like... Yeah, I guess the nineties. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Out. Yeah. Welcome back to mathematics with <laughs> Shane, Chris, and Aiden. <laughs> That's sick. I love the idea of a twenty-four hour comedy station, though. That's so sick. But yeah, laugh radio. Like round the horn. <laughs> yeah, ra- my mum loved round the horn. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to round the horn. Round the horn. <laughs> round the horn. <laughs> Does anyone remember how green was my, is my cactus? The one no, that used to do the fucking. Bell. They used to do the politi- politicians, and he used to. Oh, I seem to remember it was like the late eighties. Nice, because we grew up Mr. with Speaker. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. Yeah, because we grew up with just until nineteen ninety three. We really didn't have a local FM station. Oh. We only had fucking AM. Yeah, right. And you know, how, only AM. Yeah, pretty much. Like we we lived like outside of Wagga. Oh, you're in fucking prime possum we, country. We, we are Wagga. in prime possum country. Nice. Yeah, I fuck yeah. prime possum. <laughs> I'd fuck prime possum. No, no I would fucking, but I fucking love him. Oh, I love, love them. I, I'm yeah. pretty. Yeah, fuck but, with. Yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, only really AM is the only signal we could get. At, yeah. We were only like 40 kilometers from Wagga as well. My initials. I, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I, I, remember, I remember I was at my, um, my I remember, this is a classic 90s story. Because, you know, in Australia, like back in the day, there's only five TV channels ever. Right? Yeah. I remember I went to my grandma's house one day. My grandma had this like old fucking TV from like the 60s. It was so old that you had to like put in a tuning fork. And like you tune it manually. Yeah, I remember them. Yeah, and so yeah. It was like this old tuning thing. And like I remember, I was like, I'm gonna find a new TV station because I was like, this is some weird like manual oh, tuning. Yeah, yeah. And I was like just tuning and tuning and tuning. And then one day I did 
You I found know. one. Yeah. It's fa- channel 32. It was channel, channel 31. Channel 31. Oh, channel 31. oh for yeah. real? Yeah, yeah it was. I didn't know what it was. I had never heard of it oh, in my life. It goes like 10 and then it was just nothing. Yeah. Like, and, yeah. Then, and then I found it and I was like, it was one of the greatest moments of my life because I was, it, I was like, I found another TV station <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. You and found the whole nexus of the it, television universe. It blew me yeah. away that it, I found, because I, I was looking for it and I found it and then like, yeah, and then it took me like a, like a couple of hours to be like, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I was Are you watching like, like, like uh, what's that? I don't know, just like some like, I think Bloke's World was oh, on yeah. uh, Channel 31 then and yeah, maybe Rove, Rove's Rove World. might have been on Jesus, it. does Bloke's World still exist? Uh, you know what? I know something about that because nice. I went to my parents' house recently. They've got Foxtel. And now we're watching the Discovery Channel. Blokes World became a Discovery Channel travel show. Wow. Bullshit. Like just the blokes in the world. Just in the world. <laughs> that was a funny That show. was literally yeah, that. It's, it's not like, oh, it's I remember just like, they used to go let's to go do... eat pasta in France. Oh, they've Fra- come a long well, way from I thought from you were like... about to go Frankston. Yeah, in <laughs> France. Well, I remember when it was like, at least on Channel 31, it was like road tests of strip clubs. <laughs> which is such yeah, a well, funny right. idea. See, we never had, we had, for a long time, we had ABC... Um, Prime or Channel Seven win Channel Nine, and then, like, like the the Channel Ten would only come in in mm. like the afternoon. Oh, true, really? Wow. Um, oh, and then, start. but when it hit the nineties, it started. We started to get a better signal. Yeah. Okay. And then it was just in time for like the Simpsons. Whoa. So <laughs> it was like perfect timing for me at that age. But yeah, yeah. Australians. That's so funny. Yeah, we didn't even. I can't even remember when SBS didn't come through for a long time. Like, and if you could get a signal. Yeah, it was like thank you. Even like South Park. The, well, by the time like mm. that happened, you could get it, but even yeah. like it wasn't, it wasn't I, great. I remember I went in so twenty, I think it was twenty eighteen or nine twenty eighteen. I guess <clears throat> I went out to the outback, and I was like driving up the Sturt Highway, and I took like a left and went out to just the outback, and there was like this like pub in the middle of fucking nowhere in the desert and i went in and i was like talking to the guy and i was like oh, i was there and i was like oh do you guys like have wi-fi in here that i can like get into and the guy just was laughing and he's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wi-fi and i was like why and he's like mate we've never even had the internet <laughs> i was like what and uh, yeah it was like they, they'd never done it because it's such yeah are you serious such, That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, are you serious so telstra gives them all like they all had um the uh, dongle well, like, no and they all had uh like um uh, like satellite phones oh yeah and they were like but like we've never had the internet never been yeah. like, that's 2018 in australia that yeah. the places that don't even have the internet yeah because uh, there's a, there's this thing with you know how they say that we've got 90 we cover 99 percent of australia yeah, they're talking about population. That's, oh, yeah. true. So, oh, because yeah. oh, wait, really? That makes yeah. So much sense. Yeah, because fifty percent here, yeah. here <laughs> in Sydney fucking, is fifty percent, right? Yeah, basically. it's Pretty like much, when you go yeah. to fucking Macca's and it says like you know made with hundred percent Australian grade beef, yeah. and you learn that's a fucking company. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. It's, it's <sighs> cool, genius. That. Like nothing like fudge in an umba or a fudge in a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember your know, KFC crazy. had like I think fruit bits with a Z once, and I ate them. That was, that was a fruit. Fruit uh, bits. Uh, KFC. KFC. What's that? Yeah, it was like a... I don't know, they kind of did like a boost juice thing at one point. Oh. You know, like a... You know, they were, they were trying to have like a juice bar vibe. Like when that was popular, like, I don't know, in like 2015 or some shit. Yeah. And they, they, their, their one was called Fruit Bits. Oh. With a Z. And it was like, Bits... Yeah, I which, don't know. Which, which my, there bites. was no fruit in those bits. <laughs> I, once, I, once, uh, I once had a friend whose like favorite go-to McDonald's meal was a Fanta with no ice, a filet of fish, and a bag of apples. <laughs> and I was what like, the fuck? <laughs> "That's like, bro, that's the shittest fucking meal I, I could know, possibly man. think of." <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm picturing it. I, I, it could be really good. Oh, that's kind of fruit bits, I guess. Like I think about it, like you know, you got your, your yummy, like you know, omega three fish. Yeah. You got like apples for like you know some sugar. Yeah. And then you've got, what would you say, Fanta? No, no ice. ice. Yeah, because the ice, he can it's take the lid off and he can just drink it. You truly know, like a, a man mate. ahead of his time. But doesn't, doesn't, a fucking Fanta needs ice. It's so fucking strong. You need to dilute that Fanta shit. Is, I guess that's true. Maybe he was using the Fanta kind of like a French dip, like dipping, dipping the filet yeah, yeah, yeah. into a Fanta. All right, now well, you're talking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's too much. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'd love to know what bits of the fruit, like, you know, when you see blood. <laughs> Blue, like bright blue, fucking, and it yeah. says juice, and you're like, oh, hold on, what the fuck are you doing? Juice, with <laughs> like, yeah, it's like uh, the blue heaven fruit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where does that come That's from? My favorite fruit. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> um, it is. Hey, actually, can, may I ask, what is the flavor of blue heaven? Blue heaven's raspberry. It, it, oh. is, is it raspberry it's and vanilla? Raspberry and vanilla. Oh. Fuck yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's raspberry with vanilla. Because yeah, we'll. we'll we're trying to figure that out the other night because I, li- I really like the novelty of getting a, a blue milkshake. Like, that's already... Do, do you just do it, start quoting Star Wars? 
No, yeah, blue milk. Blue milk. Oh, yeah. I didn't even yeah. really think about that. Yeah. I do oh, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. It's I, I, I did that as a kid. Yeah, I got like milk and uh, put blue food dye in it to make blue milk. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, well, Blue Heaven. I I don't know. I actually got a Blue Heaven milkshake the other night. Like, uh, I, I I don't know why. I just I, I got drawn to it. Mm. And I was trying to re- figure out why. Like, why why do kids like it? Why do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. like why does it exist? Why is it even a thing? And then I was like, what flavor is this? Yeah. And it's like, is it just strawberry? Yeah, it's like raspberry. That, it's the yeah. color. Yeah, it's that. Oh, raspberry and vanilla. Yeah. Oh, raspberry. That's pretty exciting <laughs> for a child. <laughs> I was raspberry. thinking blueberry the whole time. Yeah, but raspberry. Yeah, it's not. It's not blue. Yeah, true, true, yeah. true, true. So I'm a big fan of the the spearmint milkshake. Oh, I, oh, oh nice. like, are you a big nice. like chalk spearmint guy? Oh, no, I don't mind chalk spearmint, but just straight up spearmint, oh, like really? a yeah, like, oh, it, like it's, that. You know, like if we if I go down to the uh, ocean side, the seaside for a day, mm. I'll find myself a, a spearmint. Well, yeah, right. really. Yeah. What about do you have a, do you have a fuck with? And I uh, like that. What about peppermint crisps? I love a peppermint crisp. It's such I think an oh is that the candy bar? Yeah, so it's 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 crazy because it's, I think it's a really underrated <clears throat> chocolate bar. Because it's like chocolate covering like like uh, oh, mint crystals. No, yeah, it's crystals. Oh, yeah. It's like this, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, hey guys, can we get a photo of uh, peppermint crisps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just edit it in. Chuck yeah. that in. Like the half, the the, the yeah. You got it right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a crazy because it's like it's like these. Uh, so it's like bits of crisps. In the inside, and I really feel like that's yeah. a, a lost marketing opportunity it's to like really bring mesh. up the, your eating crystals. Yeah, it's it rem- so cool. yeah. I don't know. It reminds me of like like being like, it's like I don't know like glass. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like eating glass. <laughs> yeah. It is. The appeal yeah. is. I yeah. I used to suck off the chocolate. Oh Jesus! And then, like you'd have this like you'd have this like this like this rod this like rod sick, <laughs> <laughs> this sick like glass rod. rod. You crushing that Crush eating it. glass. For yeah. some reason, it just reminds me of like 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 like. 12 year old basketball. <laughs> like, like, 12, year 12 year old basketball? basketball? Yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, well, I, don't, I, I only played basketball till I was about 12, let's be honest. Wow. Uh, but, you know, like going to like a like a gymnasium or something, there's one of those fucking crappy little like, like, uh, uh, like counters where you can get like oh, candy get, bars yeah. and, you know, oh, get you know, like, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Like, a little, yeah. it's like, a, like a t- it's like the tinier, tinier version of a milk bar. Yeah. yeah. A kiosk. Kiosk. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Tuck kiosk. Shop. Kiosk. kiosk. Yeah. Yeah, that's we got there. We got there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's, that's where it reminds that's me funny. of. That's funny. That and creamy what, soda. Yeah, yeah, one of my favorite memories is, as a child was from it involves a peppermint crisp. Wow, really? What's yeah, yeah so us. because we like grew up in a town of like like at that time it would have been maybe thirteen hundred people, mm. and like once a month they used to bring out the movies to the local golf club and like you'd stream it in like. Next to where the Chinese restaurant. Oh was. yeah, like a like a. It like was a just a drop, cinema kind yeah, of it was thing. A cinema was just a drop down screen, and they'd yep. come out and they'd have like two movies. A queen wow. bed sheet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, just strung up. And my, I would have been maybe three, maybe f- not even maybe four. And my grandfather took me on a Friday night. He came home early from work to take me to watch the, um. Foot rot flats. Oh, oh nice. dude, you're kidding and, me. Yeah, and he bought. Oh, oh, speaking of, that's, that's, oh, that's Ken, Maynard. Like Ken Maynard. Yeah, yeah. 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 But he bu- he bought me the uh, he bought me a peppermint crisp, a packet of chicken chips, and a can of Coke, and it was the first can of Coke I ever drank. Whoa! And I was just like, oh, that's hey, a huge memory. This yeah, is the duck's like, nuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I sat there and watched it, and I got about halfway through the movie, and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna piss my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the fuck out of here from excitement. Yeah, but yeah, and now it was just yeah, foot rot flats. That's so, so it was cool. the peppermint crisp, but it was might have been my first peppermint crisp too, because That's my father cool. was a white knight peppermint. Oh, true. Yeah, them? yeah, white knight peppermint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. I never really yeah. got into the white knight. Yeah. No, yeah. they'd cut your mouth open because you'd have to mm. like if they were, weren't soft and they went hard. Yeah, they do. I tell you oh, what, really? being able to remember oh, when you had your first Coca Cola is is pretty big deal. I don't. Know, I, I I haven't got that. Yeah, I, I no even way. remember where I can still go back to that same because it's the same space basically, yeah. and I know exactly where I was sitting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. I could. All right, it, it, I've got a gripe now. Yeah. So lately, uh, you'll get this as well because you know I'm sure you and Leanne go to movies when you can. Yeah. I'm, yeah, you, yeah. You, you do too. Uh, no Coke at Hoyts. Mm. Yeah, it's what? Yeah, Coke is gone at Hoyts. What the fuck have they got there? Pepsi. Now? Yeah, Ooh. I went there the other day Pepsi. and I was like, "Do you have a Coke?" And they're like, "We don't have Coke, only Pepsi." And like, Ugh, fine, I'll get a Pepsi. Like, yeah, we're out of Pepsi. And I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah, I got Pepsi Max." I was like, "Oh, you know what I've been doing the hack is no, you Coke, get a McDonald's, Pepsi, so you get yeah. a large Coke from McDonald's." You get and it from McDonald's you, beforehand. Well, yeah, that's what well, I've been doing. So that's when, a good idea. when it comes down, or right, you go to the Nova, support local business. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. The the best start, the best soft drink you get in those kind of places is one hundred percent Hungry Jacks. Yeah, at the, the, the best soft drink. Well, they're, wow. they're like coming out What's, of the fountain. Yeah, like, I, the taste of it. 
It does have the a specific taste. taste doesn't e- it? E- even it? even the way they um the the how chilled it is mm. because apparently what they do is they don't use like you know everywhere else has like cardboard boxes. Yeah. Apparently theirs goes into like a stainless steel refri- the syrup oh. goes into stainless steel refrigerator. Oh. Wow. Rather than like their, a, their machine. The, the, Goon bag, wow. basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Their machine the is syrup. quite fancy, so it it, it it comes out at a, a cooler temperature really and a better taste. Quite ahead of the game. Like I was even saying, like because I think that the the, the vegetarian that. burgers uh, or the vegan burgers oh, even like true. failed at uh, McDonald's. Yeah, because uh, Hungry Jacks have a separate grill for the, the, vegan. the vegan stuff. Yeah, where at McDonald's they just cook the vegan patties on the meat grills. Everyone yeah. caught onto that real quick and was like, "This is bullshit." Yeah, but like putting those little touches in. Yeah, that's why Hungry Jacks. It's not. Yeah. I don't know if the burgers are better, but they're definitely bigger, and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not a big, yeah. Like I'm I'm there for the the coke. Yeah, nice. Like like every venue. I'm, I'm not going to lie, fellas. I, I had a whopper last night after practice. Nice, really. Yeah. You know what? It wasn't that good. No, nice. <laughs> really. You know what was really good though, uh, which was. Like changed my opinion on their chips. Their chips are fantastic. Yeah, now. they are. Yeah, chips are amazing. They, they went they from being the, the dodgiest, yuckiest little chippos to mm. they're so good. That, it's that extra salt. Yeah, yeah. And that, that was where because because you know back in the day everyone agreed the KFC had the best chips, and it was because really at the end of the day they put more salt, salt on, on it. chicken salt, and then yeah. they stopped putting salt on the on the thing. Yeah, yeah. What's up with that? I don't ah, know. It's, I have it's, asked for more. It's, it's insane. Yeah, Leanne get Leanne always goes give me ex- like extra salt. Yeah. But funny because we went to Greek Easter. And we came back and Leanne was like, I need to eat. Mm. Like, I'm going to kill you. This is a long drive. I can't listen to a murder podcast. I need without leaning Kentucky over fried chicken. She, that's what she wanted. She yeah, wanted yeah, yeah. some tenders and a large chips. She just wanted extra some tender. salt. That's no, all she wants. She just wanted some tender. Some ter- and that means I could get home from Greek East because it's like an hour and a yeah, half yeah. drive. Cool. Safely. Do you, do you still do the egg thing at Greek East? Oh, yeah. She um, won it this year. Oh, nice. Yeah. So the, and the funny thing with that is the last time she won... The uh the egg cracking thing. Yeah. Oh, she we bought the last chance. What yeah. do you mean? So the year she won it, like f- six months later, we we bought here. Oh no! Nice. So she, her theory was, I've got to win it. So she was out. Oh, there, like, oh my god! This oh, like, I, just, I just kept yeah, saying, with yeah, yeah, the yeah, tote. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Touch wood, touch wood, touch, touch wood. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah absolutely. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So she's like <laughs> seriously walking up to like small children. Like I'm talking small children. Like bear wouldn't reach my hip. And she's just like in their face, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and she's just whacking them. And I'm like, oh, God, we'll create a monster. Oh, she Wait, won. What's I, the whacking? Got, I don't know what this is. Oh, like, yeah, so like, I, got, I got a story about Greek Easter, if I get with my mate. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the whole thing with like Greek Easter is you get these kind of like hard boiled eggs and then they're painted. And then you go up yep. to people and you like bang them against each other's eggs. And then if, if oh. their egg breaks, this is right. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Like, they, they don't. Yeah, Robin was, was painting <laughs> eggs. They traditionally at the house died the like, oh, yeah, so you bang yeah. them again. And then whoever has the one that doesn't bang, uh, doesn't, doesn't break, crack. doesn't crack. Oh, so it's, it's like, the, it's like a bonbon. It's the but, winner. Uh, but an egg. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Egg yeah. bonbon. Yeah. I, so I remember when I was in primary school, yeah. uh, this, this, I got this memory. So it's like we had. Greek Easter and they were teaching us about it and everyone painted the eggs and stuff and then we cracked them about it and I won and I was like nice and I was the kid that won and I was like this is so good and I, I was so stoked I didn't really know what it was and I went out my mum picked me up after school that day and I was like mum mum I won Greek Easter like I got this egg like I bet you can't like break it she's like yeah and she just puts it on the steering wheel and goes bam <laughs> <laughs> and I was like I was like oh. that's shut it yeah <laughs> that's and not she was like either. what and I was like and I was like trying to explain to her what should happen. And I was like, I, I, I. Yeah. yeah. And she was so, she was so win. sad. She felt sad for so long. She should. I love, I love you, mom. I love you. It's all right. Don't worry about the egg thing anymore. But the whole thing with it is you win good luck. <laughs> yeah. So that's the thing. That's if you, good. Yeah. So you win the, a year of good luck until the next Easter. But you've got oh, to keep cool. the egg whole. Oh, oh really? Yeah. You have to keep it. You, you keep it. So ours is hanging in off. In our kitchen, a rotten fucking egg. Oh no! Nice. Slowly. Oh, decomposing you can't just put it inside. in like vinegar or something. <laughs> you could, but yeah. Leanne's got it in a special little case, right. and she's got to hang it up. So she walks past every day and just looks at it and goes, "Yeah, fuck yeah." Oh, that's cool. I beat cool. some small children up. Yeah. You ever egg. cracked a um? You ever cracked a like a rotten egg onto a fry pan? That's the worst thing. No. Oh, really? That's, yeah. That's an... just just cracking a rotten egg is. Yeah, you don't onto a fry pan. It's the it sucks. It I, sucks. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've ruined an omelet before by like you know by oh, doing yeah. the whisking and then the whisking. You know, you're making it on the outside, of, you know, outside the pan. Yeah, and then you crack a fucking. Oh, yeah. like, you're like, oh, you just, oh, I need an extra egg. I'll go to the other. And, that, and the yolk is like black and leathery. 
Oh. A leathery egg? Yeah. Well, I, I, I know a couple of times I've cracked them open and, and there have been baby chickens in them. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. no. oh wait, really? Yeah, no, for real. Is this from country? From where? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, from country. Yeah, yeah not, not from like... Fresh farm like No, no, not Coles, from like... Not, I'm local. not going to Coles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, you get double yolks, so. though. Yeah. No, bo- did you hear about our... Because we are no. doing breakfast here. Oh, um, yeah. When, before those tote stuff happened. Yeah. And we went on a run on one day. I cracked... 37 what? eggs Th- oh. and that all double yolk. Hold on, it gets crazier. I went over the next week, got another bunch, and we went again. We only did like 20 eggs that week, but every single one was it went for like four weeks. It wasn't from like that, like double yolkers, yolky bunch. No, no, it was we were just buying the that's a magic chicken. It was we, we were like, I think I can't remember where the chicken was living. Mm. But yeah, every single one was double insanity. yolk. So it might be a genetic thing yeah. where that that amount of those hens were. were you don't know like, how that works. Yeah, it was insane. Can we get some facts? Yeah, uh, just really quickly for like ten seconds. Yeah. Uh, just Hen about, facts. Just about hens and, and eggs. Yeah, eggs. I want a couple Why, of lady double, facts. Double thing. What's a lady? Leave facts? it in the comments. So what else were we meant to oh, say? Oh yeah, uh, if you uh, know chicken facts uh, specifically to eggs and double eggs. Leave them in the comments. I'm, I'm the comments. floored. Like and subscribe, hit the bell. Floored. Hit the bell. Yeah, ring it in the ring. Subscribe and uh, uh, ring, ring that bell. Thumbs up or whatever it is. Um, like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> yeah. And ring the bell. Do it. Just do it. Just Fly. do it. Um, Shane, yes. we're at a pub. Do you reckon I could. Uh, uh, yeah, I reckon that we could do that. Does I anyone reckon... else need a. Yeah. yeah. I can go get them. Uh, yeah, yeah get... I'm, I'm happy to get them. Oh, here we go. Get yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, I'll have another one. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump in. You'll be fine. No, I'm gonna... good. I'm on the alcohol free. I'm on the king parrot um, alcohol free. Nice. Hey, what do you reckon about duck eggs and duck in general? I, 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 you know, I love duck. Oh, really? My family every year. Yeah. Which is a long time ago because I haven't been to Christmas there in 20 years. Uh huh. But they do a, a duck no with way cherry sauce oh nice and it's fucking delicious my mum usually does it yeah 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 love love eating that duck. cherry sauce shit is where it is at it's such a rarity but yeah, it's so good it's so good and she she like she fully like stuffs it the cherries go in the sews it up yeah 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 she does we, we made for I remember for for Christmas uh, one year we made like a cherry sauce I think the cherry sauce even had um <clears throat> some like chocolate in it which is really nice. But we got like, uh, it was to go with this like kangaroo that we cooked. And the kangaroo oh. was, um, it was like Steve Albini's meat yeah. rub recipe. What? So it, yeah, it has like coffee and chocolate and like all of this really rich shit. And it was the best kangaroo I've ever eaten in my life with this cherry sauce. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, Steve Albini's is just a full, sh- have you read it's like fucking cooking shit? Yeah, but you, is, it, is it produced by Steve Albini <laughs> yeah, or merely produced- recorded? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This recipe was recorded by Steve Albini. Yeah, totally. Yeah, don't call me a producer. Yeah, no, yeah. I, yeah I, I've seen him do a few interviews where he talks about his cooking and stuff. Oh, nice. But he's a, he's, he's a hardcore bloody young. Um, gambler as well. Nice, you love like, that. Oh, yeah, yeah he, he does the poker. So mm. he's got a man of many talents. Yeah, and in, you seen him on like World Poker Tour. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there, Mister Albion. Yeah, that's cool. This, hand, do you, this hand was was dealt. Yeah, Not, but yeah. Do you have a gambling streak? No, nice. Yeah. Um, I do. My family has a gambling streak. They all love horses, yeah. and I'm like mm. the anti. I'm like the literal. Yeah. No, it's not my thing. Well, I'll, I'll have a bet on something. Yeah. But yeah, I, I've got a. We I used to we used to bet with the thing called the, we'd call it the fifty cents bet, mm. and this was like I was working in the middle of nowhere with a heaps of really masculine guys. Yeah. And we'd just go I bet you fifty cents you won't do this. Yeah. And we're in the middle of okay. nowhere, but I would do stupid. I'd do anything for that fifty cent piece because it was just got passed between like ten of us. But I jumped off a, like a, a seven meter cliff. In, <laughs> into a, um, a body of water after it had rained out in the desert. And they said, you said, I've 50 cents, you won't dive into that puddle. 50 cents. For 50 I think you, cents. You, but I was, the other mate. thing was, I wasn't allowed to um, check the depth of it. And I wasn't allowed <laughs> to check the depth. Yeah. Nah, and, nah, I was, nah, nah, nah. and I wasn't allowed to take anything out of my pockets. Nice. Can you throw a rock off the cliff first? No, nothing. nothing. So I, I, did you do a safety jump I, at least? I did, I did like a swan dive. Oh, right. uh, and, and luckily I was a lot more svelte and athletic than I am now. <laughs> but I managed to pull it off. But I ended up. Oh, God. Let's see that crack there. Oh, yeah. So I ended up hitting, there was just a random big rock sitting on the side. Because it was on the side there. of a railway track. Yeah. And it just bounced. And I just glanced it. 
but the whole my whole elbow exploded apart. Ooh. I was gonna say you yeah. an elbow. Yeah, but I it, other than that, it was perfect. Like it was only like that deep. What? And, yeah. <laughs> what, so you would all right, so wait a second. So there, well it, probably yeah, probably like so that. So I fully belly flopped and it was just all soft mud. It was like, oh. like cartoon. Yeah, it was one of those cartoon. Like yeah. Goes up the ladder into like yep. a fucking pool this Yeah. You, well, that's but so it scary. Was because it was the <laughs> desert and the, the like. I hit the bottom. Yeah. Like, but it, because it was just like mud. Dude, that's, scary. that's the scariest there. bit. What do you mean? It was all went sand. into the mud. Yeah. That's just, well, you know, like, yeah. that's horror. Mud's but it, the scariest bit. Yeah. And we had to. Yeah. Eat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pull yourself out. Quicksand. Yeah. yeah. Mud. Because we yeah. were in the I'm middle of nowhere and I had to go get it like sewn up. We that's had scary. to explain it because it was like a a workplace incident. Nice. And we had to. What do you mean? Well, because we're on a work site. Oh, nice. And we had to, <laughs> How we, is this a work? We, cool, cool, cool. We yeah, had to lie it. through our teeth. Oh, I was picturing some sort of like seven meter cliff face. Yeah, look, yeah, I was just was a depth like, checker on the day. It was probably seven meters. It was probably, well, this would be four meters. It was probably close to five. Oh, between yeah. Between four and five. Yeah, but okay. still. Yeah, but I had to terrifying. jump, like to make the, the leap as well. I, like, I literally had to like leap out. Oh, God. Oh, it wasn't that it. far. But yeah, we'd do stupid things like that. Like... We electrocute one another, bloody light each other on fire. Jesus. Nice. All for this 50 cent piece. <laughs> this is such oh, con- for I love it. It's country piece. boy bullshit. Yeah. I, I met these like uh, these boys from like Cairns once and they'll tell us if they were like pissed off at a mate at school or whatever. They do this thing called like toading. <laughs> and like, so what they do is they'd get like a cane toad and then they'd get fishing wire and they'd attach um, fishing wire to its like legs and then like fishing sinkers. And then they'd bring this toad with the sinkers on it to like this person's house that was pissing them off and they'd throw the toad on the roof. <laughs> and then so like, the? yeah, so in the middle of the night. And so then they'd wake up to just like, clank, 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 clank. And the parents would wake up and be like, we've been toted. What did you do, Jeremy? <laughs> so just kind of toting people. I don't know about yeah. toting. And then you have to get on the roof and pick up this big toad that's covered in fish. I do not endorse toting. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Either. Well, I mean, fuck toads. Are you, are you used to hang yeah, I guess that's true. A, yeah, yeah. a guy that used to we used to enjoy making chlorine bombs. Nice. And we did some shit. We like, did what? Making chlorine bombs. Nice. Chlorine bombs. Yeah. Like for, this is. Like, We're going to put up the instructions of how to yeah. make chlorine bombs on the screen right here. I do not endorse <laughs> the B word. No. This this was pre um, pre you know. Bada boom. <laughs> pre. Terrorism was something that happened in Ireland. So wait, what? No. Yeah. I mean, maybe we like, shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't get into it. I don't know. Probably not. Uh, yeah. no? I know. It's like you know, it, it's chlorine. Cut it. It's, yeah. yeah, cut it. It, it, it. It's simple, simple science, yeah. chemistry, which I know nothing about. But how big is the explosion knew. of a chlorine bomb? Depends on how big it is. Oh, Jesus true. fucking Christ! Look, if you've got an above ground, I feel like port, we're all yeah, on lists it. now. <laughs> you <just> and <laughs> you, if you t- this is produced, if you tie it to like a fifteen kilo weight, the fifteen kilo weight. Connected to a giant, like, big water bottle. Okay. Will go, like, it'll go right up in the air. Oh, cool. And the actual, the actual pool will fall apart. What? Yeah. Wow. So we, we got into so much. We didn't really, even, like, the, the person whose house it was, the mother... You, you, wait, a house? You threw it in someone's house? No, no, it was in their pool. Fuck it. Yeah, it was this kid who... All right, let's get into it. Come yeah. on, come on. We're going to so tiptoe we, around we, this because of fear, we, but what do you got? So we, what happened? We were, we were, like, we used to... Hang out like he had a tennis court, an above ground pool, and we used to hang in the garage, smoke cones, and drink. And Richie, Richie, and yeah, yeah. And, yep. and and make um, chlorine bombs. Jesus. And we'd make it all sorts of things that were just stupid. Like this yeah. guy was. I, I knew people who did like nuts. dry ice bombs. And oh, stuff what like that. you make yeah. sparkler bombs as well? Yeah, sparkler bombs. Yeah, they're they're That's fun. They're yeah. really fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but he was just sitting there one day, and he someone walked in with one of those giant, you know, like water cooler bottles, and he just went. Oh yeah. We can do this, and he went and we went and we were drinking obviously a lot. Like we weren't old; we were only like fourteen or fifteen. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, oh. we, we were there, we were partying, got drunk enough, and we wanted to do it at night so we could see if it would, you know. You wanted to see the like. big butter boom. Yeah, we did. Um, and anyway, <laughs> so we, we threw it in, and we connected it to a, like a, a weight. And we were just Jesus. standing there and it had like decking around the above ground pool. Yeah. And then it, I was so busy watching the weight go flying in the air that I didn't realize I heard, by the time I looked down that the fucking pool had split completely apart. <laughs> oh, no way. And we'd put like cans of Red Bear in the pool okay. to keep Red them Bear. cool. Yeah, you know Red Bear, like the 500 mil vodka and raspberry of vodka and passion fruit. Uh, They're yeah, like yeah, UDLs, yeah, yeah. No, but yep. like the El Cheapo version. Yep. No. This is like pre- 
pop alcohol Sorry. alcohol pop tax. alcohol pop tax. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Smash shit out of the bit yeah. busted. I'd have been a bit too young for him, but I do remember them. Yeah, but anyway, mm. everything went flying out onto the mm. onto the the backyard, <laughs> and <laughs> just we went just boom, boom, and like there was just just so we just walked around for the rest of the night and drank these. Red Bear cans off like the fucking lawn. Over here. Wow. And anyway, in the morning, his mum walked out and his mum was a really quiet and she didn't leave her bedroom. She'd leave her bedroom like three days a week. I'm pretty sure she was pretty heavily <laughs> medicated and his father was a truck driver. So he was never there. This has got Norman Bates written all and over it. 100% man. But she walked out, looked at us. I was looking there going, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> we're fucking dead. And she just closed the door and walked back in and <laughs> nev- never said a word. Wow. <laughs> never said a word to us. I'd never heard a thing about it. They fixed the pool and okay, they no. just let us continue doing stupid shit. Wow, that's cool. It's yeah. got a happy ending. I love that. Yeah, well, it's a moderately happy ending. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know if that guy's still alive or... Oh, well, yeah. at least yeah. at least we're here. But yeah, I'm telling you, this is what fucking happens when you only have he, five television channels. He, it, <laughs> this the, is the, the other greatest thing about that guy was he was the first person I knew that had a fucking Nintendo 64. Mm. And he was the first... Eight, eight. Yeah, and he was the first person I knew with a pair of snap lock added ass pants. Oh, that's so yeah, sick. so he he was like, yeah, he, he was he was pretty cool. Yeah, like, cool fucking, shit. Yeah, 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 pretty much. <laughs> but I was, yeah, yeah, like he he if he was dressed now and walking through the streets of Fitzroy, he'd just fit in. Like, mm. yeah, so cool. Yeah, so cool. Mar- Mar- Marvel character. Yeah, to that yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who got me into a lot of trouble, but somehow always get me out of it. But yeah, Claw- <laughs> but thank. The mother. I, I want to. Yeah, thank, thank the mother. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I want to know how to make a. Are we allowed to talk about bombs? Is too much. Uh, I mean, it's a shrug. I've never yeah. heard it's of a shrug. Dr- Roz is telling us that so he's not sure. I mean, you guys would fuck with dry ice a fair bit when you're in the shrubs. No, no, no. We've been, well, we've a couple yet. times, but um, oh, you know I've, had, I've used it before for like shoots and shit as well. Like, it's a thing. The weirdest part about dry ice is when you actually have to go and buy dry ice from like yeah. the dry ice people because they're just like they're just truckers. Yeah. At like this weird kind of like gas plant, <laughs> and they like take you into like a weird room, and they're just like, "How much do you want?" Yeah. It was just like all in a big esky, and they just got shoveling it. And you're yeah. like, "Isn't this dangerous?" Like, nah, uh, no. Nice. What do I put in? Oh, you got an esky? I've got. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they go like when because we have it delivered here sometimes for a few things, yeah. And they find literally like a polystyrene box, yeah. yeah. And they yeah. just like and they just, just throw it, and it's like, <laughs> it's hold so on, sick. yeah, fucking. It's not as. Scary as it seems, but yeah, basically with a dry ice bomb, you you put it in a bottle and you, yeah. you close the lid. Oh yeah, because it's kind of expanding. That's it. Yeah, well, oh, of course, because well. it's just expanding. It's just yeah. like it's creating gas, and eventually it'll just. That's cool. It, it'll Is fucking. It, <laughs> it'll I, I was actually, funnily enough, I was watching something on on YouTube the other day, and it had a guy who had lost a hand to a chlorine bomb. Oh no, oh, and that was pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. Put a disclaimer. That's cool. Don't fuck uh, with things. Uh, yeah. No bombs. I've got a <laughs> no, no bombs. Fun. Yeah. No Listen. <laughs> I got a uh, I've got a physical copy of uh the anarchist cookbook at my place. Which is crazy. It's really cool. I bought it like um in two thousand and two. Uh oh, post nine eleven. No, just and here's the thing, three blocks away from the World Trade Center site. There was still a construction site. And no I just went into this like shit. secondhand bookstore and I was like, Yeah, the anarchist cookbook. And they were like, Yep, there you go. And I was like, I'm buying this here right now. And then they I think it's America banned it like a year or two later. No but yeah, shit. Yeah, but I've still got like a physical copy of it. That's yeah, really right. Funny. Yeah, I think it was called Shakespeare Books. So shout out to Shakespeare Books if you still Good there. for you. Yeah. Like selling it's the cool book. Stuff. It looks yeah. fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so we can make as many it, bombs as you want, really. Yeah, let's just let's talk in. orange guns. <laughs> oh, I'd love to. <laughs> Big fan of orange guns. Yeah, absolutely. Got one in my house at the moment. Um, oh, that's sick. I orange like cunt. the fact orange that orange guns. Yeah, you know, orange oh, guns? orange gun. Yeah, oh, yeah. Orange gun. I thought you said orange cunts, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? Oopa loopers? Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Orange cunts. Uh, orange mean, guns. Yeah. Sorry. Hi. We're talking, Little twang. We're, we're talking orange guns. Guns, people. But, uh, like, cause that, that's, that's some harmless fun. But um, it, it, it is. is kind of scary at the same time. Like, I mean, I, I only know about it because of like older brothers and stuff. Yeah. You know, they used deodorant. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 totally. The barbecue like, sparker. Yeah, the barbecue sparker. Yeah. <laughs> Which like when when you see someone who's made a pretty decent one, you know, when you were younger, you're yeah. like, fuck, this is pretty cool. But when you see someone that's made one not so well, yeah. it's fucking terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, that's we, not a good idea. Yeah. I, I remember one of the greatest things, were, like probably a similar age, was driving around town with kids that were, like kids, 
adults who were yeah. 18 or 19 and they'd made one and you'd go and attack people's houses. Like oh, we were in a yeah. small small town. Oh, wow, jeez. Like you had yeah, 100% that. knew who was doing it. Totally. You know, but it was like a big thing and then, we, you know, yeah. you go down to the footy ground to see how far you could shoot it, like if you get That's the it, land. Yeah. Yeah, we were just like just, backyard kind of boys, you yeah. know, like shooting it as far yeah. as you can. Do you remember yeah. fucking peg guns? Why is that ring See, a bell? It's basically a, you you get a, a nail and you put it on the end of a uh, piece of wood, and then you get a, a, a peg and you put it on the other end. Oh yeah, yeah. And you yeah. stretch out like oh, a rubber yeah. band, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, you dude. let it Absolutely. loose. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I made a crossbow like that once. Yeah. 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 What the fuck is I making crossbows and shit? Like, <laughs> yeah. Man, are we psychos? <laughs> It's no, just, no, we're cool. We're cool. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. We do not endorse crossbows. No. Well, we do endorse crossbows. We do not endorse cool. bombs. Yeah. Or, or Blue Heaven or, milkshakes. Or, oh, no, 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 we do. No, no, we do. Yeah. 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 No, we do 100% yeah. into the raspberry vanilla Raspberry vanilla, you, you, you can live with me. Yes. Oh, I love yeah. it. But um, yeah, it's, it's the shit you get up to when yeah. you're a kid. Like, yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah. Like, it's... I can, cool only, I can only imagine what I could do now with that. I have a proper paycheck. Yeah. I, re- I really yeah, like that, that this, um, scary, this whole yeah. podcast. <laughs> this podcast uh, is, just, is just kind of about reminiscing of the 90s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's the thing. But is it, isn't that what 2023 is all about? I guess it is, yeah. True, it's true, like, true. Remember I mean, the look, 90s? I'm just going yeah. with what comes to mind. Yeah. I mean, I watched you Jane's Addiction and Smashing Pumpkins. Do you know the, the 90s? 1990s? Yeah. 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 Uh, I want to watch Jane's Addiction and Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, did you? Did you go to Castle? Went to both, yeah. Oh, really? Lauren went to to the first one. Ah, uh, the one at... Over some weird up, place, right? Pike up? Pick, pick yeah. up? Yeah, was it yeah. Port the one in Port Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. Port Melbourne yeah. That and was a weird weird spot. It was yeah, just totally. a basically big hangar. How was, was James cool. oh, really? Fucking unreal. They're so good. Yeah. They're so good. I saw them live once at, uh, at uh, the Enmore Theatre in Sydney, and I've never experienced this before in my life with a live show, but it was like when they finished... Um, all the crowd refused to leave. Yeah, they were like, "Nah," and we're not going to leave. And then, like, and then, like, the, the lights came on, oh, and yeah, everyone's like, "Nah, up. we're not doing it." And like, we're not leaving. And everyone was just chanting and chanting and chanting. They're like, "We want more songs, want more songs." And then, like, everyone was just calling to each other, like, "We're not leaving. Yeah. We're not leaving." And, like, someone was like, "Fuck off to the security guards." And then eventually. 15 minutes later, the like tour manager had to come out and like do a speech over the yeah, mic. And he's like, "Hey, really I know you want to help, but they can't." He had like a bag of um picks, and he was <laughs> throwing the about. picks out, and he's like, "You have to <laughs> go, please yeah, go." Yeah, like, I never. It was am- and it was amazing. The pretzels. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, they kicked us. It was so sick. <laughs> the pretzels, I love it. Yeah, I know, but hey, yeah, it was, yeah, it was unreal. It was just a show. No, like, no, Dave Navarro, but it was. Oh, that, really? Yeah, it was that Josh Klinghoffer, the guy that was mm. in there for in Red Hot Chili Peppers for the time that John Frusciant was out. And then oh, the and then he really and then John and what well, wasn't yeah, Dave Prashante's Navarro? Back. Dave Navarro was in so the that, Red Hot Chili Peppers. He was in the Red Hot Chili Peppers as well. Oh, man, and now crazy. and then I think Wait, Dave Navarro was in the Chili Peppers. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 he, he was, was on like that the roller 2000... coaster of love. Yeah. Whatever that album oh, is. Oh really? Yeah. And did he I think he came out and even did a big day out with him here. Oh true, cool. Yeah I think in like two thousand and one maybe two thousand, two thousand and one. That's why 2001 was yeah. a terrible year. Yeah, so it wasn't 1999. So, yeah, yeah we, it's all about the 90s now. Although, yeah. when are the early 2000s are back, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are they? I forgot which decade we're meant to be remembering. I don't yeah, know. I think what's happened now is that, like, yeah, the cyclic thing is over. It's like, it's, it's all just, just like mashed in one. Yeah. It's Except like, for the Collingwood know, Cowboys. Can we enough. talk about it? Yeah, go, go for it. I've got, listen, if we do end up at the tote, I, I don't endorse anything about what I'm about to say. Yeah. I mean, look, the Cowboys are fine. They'll, they'll pay you money for you in the tote. That's yeah. great. But what's up with the Collingwood Cowboys all of a sudden? Yeah. Chris? I don't know. Uh, you've been noticing them as well, haven't you? I mean, I listen to country music. Yeah, yeah I know, too. but you're not a Collingwood <laughs> yeah. Cowboy. I know. Yeah, I'm a Cowboy. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, like, for a moment there, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. But now I'm just like, why is everyone dressing like Cowboys? I mean, like, like did I miss the memo? Is, like, the whole well, world's gone country. <laughs> well, that's fine. Well, yeah. But... Can someone explain it to me? Can either of I you think it's explain a vibe? Do you know what? I, I, someone told me that they've, it's we can blame HBO. HBO. Or one of you know the the, the serial television. So oh. like you know, um, well, what like Deadwood? Well, no, like Deadwood would have been like beforehand. It's that. What's that one? It's got the oh, uh, with Bonanza. Oh, like Bonanza. gold, gold, uh, uh, Yellowstone. Yellowstone. So they reckon ah. that's it because they they reckon they've went from watching. Oh. Whoa, Yellowstone. There's, wait, is Yellowstone just gold? Wait, is that why it's called Yellowstone? Uh-huh. Because it's like there's there's a gold rush. 
Is that what Yellowstone is? Like gold? No, I think uh, isn't it about are those a place? cows? Yeah, yeah. But is it is it named after that they like found gold and yellow yeah. the Yellowstone? Maybe. Wait, is that it? Oh my god. I mean, that's why is. we call it the gold I need fields. That's Stack. why, right? The gold yeah. fields. The gold fields. Yeah. Yeah. So Yellowstone, gold fields. Yeah. I like that night. I think we were playing in Ballarat one night. And uh, there was a bouncer at like Vulture or whatever that fucking venue is. And he was like, you know, there's still gold rush here up in them hills. And I was like, oh, yeah, really, mate? And then he like pulls out like a bag of like mushrooms. <laughs> and they were like, like gold tops. <laughs> and he's like, it's four of them, mate. Four One's of them, mate. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gold <laughs> rush. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's cool. The guy rules. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I, mean, I bet you he, he, everyone he didn't know that was there, he was walking up and doing that too. I bet you that yeah. was a fit. He'd do it, it like 50 the, times a night. He's the bouncer as well. He was yeah. handing out mushrooms. I was like, what is this awesome yeah. place? This is sick. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it was like good a lot. Yeah. Falter. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. yeah is it still sure. Falter now? Is it, it was what it was before. I can't remember what it was yeah. before. But yeah. The Corova. 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 Yeah. 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 We were in, we were in Ballarat the other Thank you, Rose. And we went to Sovereign Hill. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Hell yeah. There is a gold rush in them, their heels. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, gold rush of small children. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, <laughs> you, you know, it was. You know, my dad always talks about the veins of the gold because apparently they still. Is, you know, I didn't know this. Like, apparently, gold, like, uh, it, it runs like a river underground. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit so of like, run through quartz, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No idea. Well, yeah. is it, I, I always thought it was like old riverbeds. Well, I mean, look, it's right next to the Yarra. It makes sense. I'm, I'm thinking about Warrandyte right now because yeah. there's like, there was the gold rush in Warrandyte and stuff. So it's. A kid growing up there, you always hear about gold rush bullshit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they've got like caves and tunnels and shit that they built because, like, apparently, it, yeah, I guess maybe it's right next to the Arrow. So it would yeah, make sense be, that, you know, yeah, like you can pan for gold in the river and whatnot. But yeah. like, apparently, it's called veins. Yeah. Veins of gold. And that's like, it's basically like an underground river. Yeah. Where, like, yeah, it like the gold actually, like, you know, has these veins. Mm-hmm. And you, if you tap into them, that's when you like, yeah, you hit like a vein and then you're like, I'm rich. I love that. That's right what you do, though. Yeah. I lo- <laughs> hit the vein. Oh, I hit the vein. I love that theory. You know, have you heard that? That's theory what you do. That, um, yeah. The gold is just like some sort of crazy alien tech. Oh, yeah. Say what? That sounds yeah, like yeah. X-Files. Hold yeah, on, no, this I mean. now we're you know how it corrupts like... the human brain. Like it really does. You know, it fucks up humanity. I mean, it's one of the biggest problems. But like, uh, and it, but it's like this this idea that because gold is like is like as old as the universe, and yeah. it doesn't grow here. So it's like these things where it's like it's come from like a, like comets and stuff that had like gold on it, or it was built into like I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's like from space. And that's so why it's, it's, been, it's been yeah. sent here to destroy us. Yeah, or yeah. it was a byproduct of people. Sent here to destroy us. Yeah, yeah. well, there you go. Yeah. yeah, and we are rich. Alien uh, tech. Yeah, alien tech. Well, intergalactic I, 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 someone planetary. once told me that planetary, planetary intergalactic, intergalactic, planetary, planetary. There goes that copyright another violation. Another dimension. Another dimension. <laughs> another dimension. Another dimension. <laughs> another dimension. 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 Well, now don't you tell me to. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. Wow. That if that wasn't rehearsed, I'll Style I, profile! I said <laughs> From the Hudson River out to the Nile! This I would never see the Beastie Boys ever again. No. It's fucked, isn't it? I saw them live. Did you? You did, yeah. yeah I, I, I went to yeah. Big Day Out when they played that year. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was Fuck. sick. It yeah. was so, so good. Yeah. God, that'd be so fucking good. Mm. They did a whole jazz set. Like they stopped for like twenty minutes and did a twenty minute dance set. Like at the big day out, and they were like, "Reminds me how like, like, like uh, that mix up record. I really liked that record too. Oh yeah, yeah. So totally. like the band record. Yeah. It's like what? Yeah. It's really good. I know. <laughs> They're so sick. It's un- it's unbelievable. It's hard to believe for, for how the varying styles that they went through. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, did you ever see that like movie thing that they made right before like um before before he died? died. Yeah. It was like, but it was like oh. I think it was like Elijah Wood, uh, oh, yeah. Seth Rogen, and Maybe uh, did watch that. what's his name? Fucking um, uh, Danny McBride, I think. Yeah, it was. And they were the BC Boys, like you know, in, back back oh, in the day. And it was like kind of like this weird kind of introspective thing where it's like the BC Boys in like you know the eighties or whatever. Right. But then like it was like a drama like little movie. Yeah, yeah, totally. It was yeah, pretty yeah. good. But it was like to the I don't think music I did. of the new album that, that was coming out then. It's really good. It's like yeah, it's yeah, kind of yeah. like a thriller, you know, long video, maybe it ten was, minutes. Was it? The, was it? I think it was like a prequel to like Fight for Your Right to Party, or or like a something sequel like that, or something like exactly. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sequel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, it was just so like the a video clip. The yeah. video clip. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, it was really it was good. Something like that. Yeah, totally. Anyway, 
Well, there you go. This no, is hard I don't, I don't on I a uh, non-visual uh, yeah. platform. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh wait, we are Hit semi-visual. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that. Are you going to put like? The, I don't know. I think we're forcing him to. To be honest with you. Yeah. The first. Come on, the guys, first. what are you doing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> just, hey, come just on, Ross. Hey, Ross. Hey, Ross. Ross. Hey, Ross. Ross. Oh yeah. my God. So, yeah. I, who is? Aren't you the Fraser yeah, uh, addict as well? I'm Fraser. I'm Fraser. Fra- 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 I'm Fra- Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you're, you're, you're the. You're, you're like a. I don't know if anyone who's watching is a really big fan of Fraser, but like you're bulldog. No, oh, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Fraser. You're bulldog. <laughs> Absolute BS. I'm listening. No, um. See, I watch Fraser through every year. Every will, year, what? every year, it's a whole thing. I watch a whole season every oh, year. Oh, just a season? No, 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 the whole thing. A every season, every year. Jesus, I will, I will at a minimum watch one episode of Frasier a day. Well, that's sick. I usually get up in Frasier's the morning yeah. and watch it like to get my mind in focus. Yeah, right. Before to wake up, I'll yeah. put Frasier. Is it because I it's the wait. most like you know like smart of the sitcoms? Yeah, well, it's the most intelligent show on television. Still, there you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I, I, well I gotta, said. I got a, I got a story. I'm listening. I used to work with this guy, this Slovakian guy called Peter. Peter. <laughs> well, Peter. Peter. Um, another beer show. Nice. Yeah, go he was a, he was a legend. Uh, so he uh, was obsessed in Slovakia. He was obsessed with Frasier. And he'd watch it every single day. He was like a massive, massive Frasier head. And he'd watch it uh, in like Slovakian, you know. Oh, so and, it was dubbed? Uh, it was dubbed into yeah, Slovakian. Nice, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he knew it word for word, word for word. And the way that he taught himself English was that he put on like the English, English subtitles. subtitles. Oh no, he put on the in English and then with the Slovakian oh, subtitles. Yeah, read it. And then works. So it was really funny because he had broken English, but then every once in a while he'd be like, he'd just say a really obscure long word that like <laughs> I'd be like, what? Like, no, <laughs> like yes, yeah, so he was kind of like an eloquently spoken like uh, he was Slovakian a Slovakian. He was a Slovakian. Niles. It was sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. Uh, I was like, I was like, good on you. That's a really cool way to learn English. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's, nice one, Peter. <laughs> good work, Peter. Yeah, mm, but yeah. yeah, I yeah, I'm still obsessed with it. Yeah, like, it's I, so good. I don't know why. Really I, are you are you excited about the reunion? I am the reboot. Ooh. It's oh, not a reboot. reunion. But yeah, but obviously it's, it's, it's the old man's died. Well, none of the old cast coming back. Come back. Yeah, oh, what, so, just, well, not that we know of. Kelsey Grammer. Well, it's apparently it's not, it's not set Grammer. in Seattle this time. It's set Boston. in Boston, Whoa. but that's supposed to link into Cheers. Nice. Cheers. Yeah. Well, that's nice. what people are thinking at least. Yeah. Like it's not going to nice. bring back like Niles and like you know Daphne and like oh, and like Roz and stuff. Yeah. It's going to bring back like so it's going full circle. Yeah, yeah. I love it. That's but that's amazing. I'm not sure if Lilith will be in it or not. I mean, oh, I've, great I've, if I've Lilith never seen Lilith. No, no, not Lilith. Yeah, from Cheers and Frasier. Like Frasier's second ex-wife. Oh, yeah. The one no, that he no, had Freddie. Well, well, I'm thinking, the, the, no, I'm had thinking Freddie of Niles' together. wife. The yeah, Maris. Maris. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maris, that was descri- description really everything from a whippet to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a good joke in The Simpsons when it, they do the episode where it's um, Sideshow Bob and his brother. And yeah. You, and you get Niles playing the brother. And then, like, uh, Bart Simpson or Lisa, I can't remember who, but they go, like, huh? And they, like, you know, cover his eyes and they're like, guess who? And he's like, Barris? Barris? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Everyone's like, I love that joke. <laughs> those in jokes on The Simpsons with those Probably two good. are just unreal. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I should probably stop watching Frasier. Like, I'm talking of reminiscent of the 90s. Like, that's some pretty hardcore fucking. Yeah. Totally. But you see, I'd never watched Friends. Yeah, it's not good. I, I like no, well, Friends. It, yeah. In, in yeah. one of the lockdowns, I just randomly started watching, like, it was like season six, episode three or something. Oh. It was something really weird on television. And I just sat there and went, you know what, Shane? You're going to watch all the Friends. So yeah, I started right. at season six, episode three, went right through to the finale, and then started watching season one, episode one. Oh, yeah. That's and cool. And went through to that point. And, yep. But it was really odd because I start like, going from that last episode, the finale where Joey moves to LA and all, whatever's happening, mm. and then going to episode one, it was just like there is – like. Y- there was no story story yeah, after yeah. Yeah. Entire, like there was nothing happened in yeah. that entire series. Well, to be yes. fair though, I, I just finished what rewatched it because I watched Seinfeld every year. Oh, yeah, and see, I just yeah. finished Seinfeld again uh, last night, actually. Really? And then I finished. Uh, all right, by the way, my perspective has changed. The last episode of Seinfeld is really good. Genius. It's mm. great. Yeah, it's great. Great. Every, I don't know why everyone was so like you know yeah. against it. It's great. Yeah. Anyway, finish the last episode. You mean conceptually, I guess? No, it's a good episode. But it's like a, isn't it like a, a clip? No, there is a clip show. There's and a, then there's the two-part two like, trial yeah, yeah. 
where they oh, like fly. I thought the trial was the clip show. No, nah, nah, oh, there right. is. Okay, there's a clip show. Yeah, like the episode before that episode. Oh, okay. And then like it's really funny because you bring Larry back. He writes you know, that last episode. Yeah. You can kind of like tell. Like, he's really good. Yeah, uh-huh. it was surprisingly good. It was um, it was meta before there was meta. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But then the thing is that it ends with him going, "Oh, the top button. Oh, sorry, yeah, the yeah, second yeah. button. That's so like that. that's the most important button." Yeah, and that's the first thing that like George but, and Jerry ever had like a conversation about. Mm. Anyway, I finished the season. I watched like that last little joke was like, "Haven't we had this like conversation before?" Yeah, maybe we have. Yeah, yeah. And then I've watched the pilot directly afterwards, and I was like, "Holy shit, that's like there's the conversation." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, "Man, now I just want to watch it again." I mean, yeah, that yeah. conceptually is amazing. I was like, "I'm back that's in." Great. That's, that's the great. snake eating its own tail kind yeah, back of where yeah, you yeah, started. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Yeah, the friends was not like that. You actually, it is where you started. You and started watching a piece of shit, and you ended watching a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, wait a minute. Someone once pointed yeah. out to me funny about like how cheap like Friends is made. It's like over a couple of episodes, but I think there's an episode where like Ross cheats on Rachel, and so like uh, he walks in. Oh, sorry, um, Ra- Ra- uh, Ra- yeah, Ross cheats on Rachel. So Rachel walks in, and I think he's making out with a girl in a bar, if I remember or something like that. And a U two song is playing. It's one of those like sad, lovey U two songs. I don't know which one it is. What's the U two oh. song? Uh, and I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Yeah, I think it's that playing over the top. And so like, and she's like, oh my God, and they're heartbreaking. And then a couple of like episodes later, uh, like he calls up like a love dedication radio show. And um, he's like, yeah, I want to like dedicate a song to her. And he dedicates that song, mm. which Ooh, is a weird harsh. thing to do. But, and it's clearly because they like budget, they just bought that bought U2 that, song and thought that no one would remember it. five seconds of it. Yeah, like, yeah. Because hey, so, that's a really weird thing to do. Yeah. Like to, you know, like, dedicate a love song that you find your man cheating on you with. With. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like that's some shoddy television, really. Awesome. Boo! Boo! Boo. <laughs> ban the friends. The one where the friends get friends. booed. Boo! Boo. Oh, that's right, because that's how Boo they were the weren't they? Yeah, they're like the, the, the one that. I'll yeah. show you a better episode of Friends. The one that Shane wish he had the one. <laughs> Um, it's a visual gag. It's a visual gag, but uh, we were, yeah, we were implying that. that we are the best Better episode friends. of Friends. Yeah. Nice. But yes. Yeah. No, I, 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 I don't think I'll ever watch Friends ever again. I'm, I'm pretty oh, happy that. with that point. Uh, that being said, uh, Chris has been, um, my partner Laura has been really, uh, really going for Brooklyn Line Nine lately. Oh, um, yeah. Of your yeah, the recommendation. First, the first three seasons of that are, is so surprisingly funny. The first three seasons, we have been struggling to oh, care. But now we feel like it's ticked over. Yeah. Like, Actually, no, I'm starting to like it. I just find that uh, that that um, Jake and Amy, is that their names? I think uh, yeah. they get together too quickly. Yeah, that's true. I yeah, agree. They, get, like, they should have kept it going for another season or so where they don't get together. Like yeah, that's office. a surprise. Surprisingly funny. See, what, where do you stand on the it's always sunny in Philadelphia? Oh, mate, we're not... I mean, let's be honest. I'm taking all my cues from their podcast right now. Yeah, right, true. Well, do you know what? I've I've never watched it and I pretend oh, to... Pe- it's, 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 it's very for good. For my joke, I pretend to people that I have watched it. Oh. Yeah. yeah, and it's, I, 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 I get it. so much enjoyment out of watching them like just lambast me yeah. With, yeah. with it. Right. I don't need to have watched it. You simply it. have to watch at least the Danny DeVito episode. Because it's, it's so good. Isn't it the Danny DeVito episode? Isn't he in all of them? No, no, no he's not sorry, in the first I, season. No, sorry, I thought you meant the podcast. Oh, no, no. I do, do you know what, though? Oh. It comes up in my suggested feeds on YouTube, the it's podcast. Really, you'd I love it. I mean, this well, is the no, vibe. If, yeah. if you've never watched Always Sunny, I don't know if you would love no, it. Wait, you've never watched Always Sunny. Sorry, I thought you meant you'd love it. Sorry, I'd... No, I've never watched it. Yeah. I pretend that I haven't. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good one. No, I pretend that I have. Sorry. That's a good I've, That's I've one of those things it. you'd show. Sorry, I, 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 I okay, jumped one right. I assumed yeah, yeah. you were a fan and no, you hadn't no, no. seen the podcast. Oh, right. my goodness. Because, like, for some reason, it's a show that people at bars yeah. like oh, to yeah. talk about for I don't know. I'm obsessed why. with that show. Yeah. I, have, I, have, it, I have another secret shame like that, which is, and this is, oh, God, I even saying this on here is going to get me such slack. This is how much I've learned. I don't love Dead Moon. And like, and like, I told you not to tell. I me. know, and I do. I know. I have. Shut I have a bunch up. of seven and records, and I love them. I understand. I think they sound amazing, but I'm kind of like people that love Dead Moon. Fuck, they love. Right. I love Dead Moon. Function's yeah. over. Don't worry. I've, I've, I know this is the end of the band. <laughs> this is it. Lauren order no, like really long. Can you imagine saying that? Imagine yeah. saying that to Melbourne. I'm announcing my new I band, Law and Order, that sounds a lot like <laughs> Dead Moon. That's like um, coming out. I, I do love it. Uh, I love, yeah, but I don't love it enough to have a tattoo or to have a shirt or whatever. But I get it. But it's like, man, if you tell people you you don't really. You know, no, they won't like it. Holy yeah. shit. They yes, flip. You you're out of it. No, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. What don't you, you like? You just don't it? love them as much as the people. I, that I get like. it. I think that their biggest strength is that they sound like Dead Moon, and I love that. 
Yeah. Um, but I don't. I, I'm not going to sit down like pretty heavy stroke. Kind of like, I love that you can you can pick a. De- I love a band that you can pick a um the sound of after like two seconds. I love that, so I appreciate them for that. I always get like Dead Moon and AC. I can't believe like, I said that. Crossover. I'm so sorry. I, like, like Dead like, Moon, the Scott, like 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 Fred, Sam. Oh yeah, like, their voice kind of like you know oh, like yeah. you know like. He's, you know what it that is. Moonlight. Well, that's what yeah. that you know. Moon, you, know like you know what it is about bone. both those singers is that like you think they're gruff, but they're actually high. They're super high. Yeah. They got really high voices. Yeah. That's why like, it's really hard to do a bar, like a Bon Scott. Bar, bar, body yeah. Yeah. yeah, to do a Bon Scott. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's not bad. Nice. That was good. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, they, yeah. Well, Bon Bon was a traditionally a high register. Yeah, for he's sure. so high. Like, you yeah. only have to look at him and you go, "Oh, that seems yeah. in a high." Um, I saw some. Uh, the, well, I didn't go to the gig, but uh, the Grim Rhythm fellas. Oh, I was there. You were there. Yeah. Uh, it was, oh, it was. It was the best. It was. It was. Yeah. Probably so the best for season. the people at home, they did a. Um, they did like a Bon era ACDC set at Lily Tavern last week. But um, I just oh, saw it on was Instagram. that what it was? It, it yeah. Was, so it was yeah. Grim Rhythm. So but, um, it was Grim Rhythm. Yeah, Grim it. Rhythm. But then the singer was uh, Will, was Will, like Will Maxwell. Yeah. Oh no, shit! And Man. He, he did the he did an I amazing bond. I didn't uh, realize that he could do that bond. Yeah, me either. He Man, even I had thought... the he had the cheeky like the look. I just heard it on Instagram, and I was like, he was hitting that fucking register. And yeah. I'm like, you know the one I want. I, that was the wow. it was the best. It was the best ACDC cover band I think. Yeah. I would say. It felt real. I will say, yeah, should have done backup vocals. Wow, there wow. was no backup vocals. Crazy shit I ever seen in my life. We're not wow. What's that? Well, no, Malcolm. But Grim well, Rhythm, well, yeah, Grim Rhythm don't Malcolm. sing though. Yeah. That, that's yeah, like their whole shit. Sing. It was no, no, but, as well. no, they that, but they don't sing. I, you know, that's I guess their that's thing. Ah, yeah. So you Grim, you could have. Grim it was Rhythm pretty funny. Sing. Like Costi from Gal- like, it was. I was like, this is fucking sick. I was loving the show. I loved it. One of the best shows I've seen ages. But it was like Costi, you know, like Garlic Nuns and stuff like that. He was down the front, and there was this like cowboy Collingwood cowboy oh. down the front. He was in the real front. Collingwood cowboy. He had a no. He had like a hat. No, no, he had like a cowboy hat on. He was kind of standing at the front, being a bit staunch. And I think Costi crowd surfing. They were playing rocker, and he like a crowd surf. I think he like knocked the the, the, the cowboy guy and like uh, the cowboy guy like grabbed Costi and was like what the fuck are you doing Costi just goes bam <laughs> just Whoa, like, whacked him <laughs> yeah and like and then they had this fight but it was a real like gentleman's Ball fight, fight! <laughs> it, was, it was a gentleman's it was it was a gentleman's fight they were punching each other cowboy got some he got some and then they were pushing the stage and they were pulled apart and everyone was like sick but the band was still playing still playing and I was like this is so fucking awesome. I was just drinking and watching a fight, watching a band. I'm yeah. like, this is one of the best. This is what I imagine seeing like ACDC and 70s. And then they came, they were cool. And like, it was all, that's you know, what listening out. to ACDC is me. Like finding yeah. a, a, a goat fucker and having yeah. a fight with them. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. sick. It was fucking awesome. I wish I had it. been there. Yeah. yeah. Missed out. Yeah. Jesus. That, yeah, there you go. But I mean, like traditionally, the Cowboy, Cowboy Cowboys should be big ACDC fans, shouldn't they? I don't oh, know. I think they were. I think he I was, think they he have was, to he be. was vibing. He was yeah, vibing yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was I just think the Cowboys are, are fans of the range. They know? are. <laughs> the, of, the range. Of the plane. The, the, yeah. the, wide, the, the wide open. Of the waking up early, going to bed late. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, the, the secluded sunsets, the secluded wonder- sunrises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder every if they're that road dedicated road to the good stew. Stew. A good stew. Yeah. yeah. Just like every cowboy. Oh, yeah. Sad, so are sad they those song. cowboys? It, what? Are they Brett Michaels cowboys or are they? If, I feel like they're cowboys. I don't know. Who the I, fuck are What are cowboys anymore? Mate, I don't know. Like, we, we met a cowboy up in, in Queensland. A real uh, one? A real one. Yeah, the real ones are fucking a lot scarier. We than were in a pub and. um. That's where I got teased. Yeah, no, it's okay. Oh, really? No, no, it's a <laughs> well, good story. I did the mean but cowman yeah, he, say Chris, Chris, No, yeah. Chris was wearing a, a Thailand cowboy. I had my, ca- I had my cowboy. That means I'm on holiday. Does it mean I'm being it a cowboy? It wasn't a cowboy hat. It though. says like Thailand a, on it. Yeah, it's not like a cowboy cowboy hat though. Yeah. It's like, a, it's it's like a, a, I'm on holiday. I'm drinking yeah. a margarita. It says Thailand on the hat. Yeah, but then a, it's, a real it, cowboy. It, it's like a. It looks. You know, it's like that style. Cowboyish. It's like a Matthew McConaughey. I'm on. Uh, it's like t- yeah, like you know, how's everybody doing? That <laughs> yeah. kind of vibe. But it's on holiday. But um, point being is, um, these guys were like, oh, you, you look like a cowboy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like there was this real cowboy there. Like he looked, yeah. he looked great. He had like a great, great. Oh, like, he really uh, did. He was such shirt. a handsome man. He was a really nice guy too. And he, he had was. a really nice Cobra. And then we we're like, hey, because yeah, like, we we're in the Gold Coast and. You know, we're from Melbourne and he's from Thailand. Uh, Hold on, this is the cowboy was on the Gold Coast? Yeah. No, it's, it was, these are these other two blokes that were just like, they were, they were, they were, they were like, oh, you got, you're yeah, a yeah, cowboy, yeah. Chris. You're, like, you're, no, sorry, no, I'm yeah. not a cowboy. That guy's a cowboy. And he, and he moseyed over. <laughs> he's like, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. And like, he up? was so like jaw, jawline, like he was rugged. He was he, so I'm, handsome. In my mind, I'm pretty sure he had those like, Spurs, yeah, and yeah, like right. the silent, the silent kind of just like standing there taking yeah. what's going on. But then, yeah, and I was like, so what do you do? And he's like, farm
And then like yeah. everyone was like, he's the cowboy. Yoda's a piece of shit. And I was like, brother, I'm on today. It says yeah. Thailand on the hat. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. We can go down. Anyway, that, 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 that guy, guy was, is a cowboy. Yeah, yeah he was real. He and was when you meet those cowboys, boy. I feel like you go, cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Whereas I know you ain't no cowboy in Collingwood. No. I see you. Mm. I know you fucking ride trams and <laughs> jazz. Fucking. I'm looking at you, Erica. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah, I'm yeah. made the tram driver. Ow, Erica. Yeah, I mean, like most cowboys I know are fucking just methed out. Oh, yeah, yeah. true. That's so cool. I, I went to a B&S ball when I was like 15. Yeah. And right. A B&S, Bachelor and Spinsters. Mm. A what? And a bachelor and spinsters, a yeah. BNS ball. It's like it's a, a country it's, sex ball. It's yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh my god! It's where you go to hope you don't fuck your cousin. <laughs> yeah, like you, 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 you have to ask the question in the morning because you're too drunk when you get into the back of the ute, parked next to a 15 year old's head to ask that question, and then you go, oh, oh we are related, and the oh, 15 year old yeah. kid with the mohawk laughing in the Ford Laser passenger seat, smoking a joint, just goes. <laughs> They're cousins. Oh yeah, my that sort of God. shit. Have you, seen the, have you seen the first I'm episode? Yeah. <laughs> have you seen the first? Uh, have you seen the first episode of Milf Manor? What the? F- it's a f- uh, what the? So fuck? it's this new show. I think it's on binge. It's called Milf Milf, Milf Manor. Manor. Yeah, I love it. This is. I uh, no, uh, we're open. Damn it! Oh, we're open. Now. <laughs> the um, so milf man is about. It's a really great idea. So it's basically these like these hot milfs are on this reality show. It's like a dating show, you know. So it's like these like hot milfs are there, and they're like you know they come out. And they're like yeah, we're gonna meet like a you know they they get a bunch of like twenty to twenty five year old guys or whatever. So like who like who like milfs as well? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So they're and, into it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's like a bachelorette type show. Yeah. Bachelor. And so like they're milfs here, and they're all drinking champagne and stuff. And they're like, oh, talking about the boys and stuff. And they're like yeah, and then like. You see the contestants, these guys, they're behind like a like a screen. You can see their silhouettes and the girls like, ah, the MILFs are loving it. And then they like pull up the screens and it's just like all of their kids. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! And so like, and so, so fucked up, man. And, so, like, and the guys are already like, they're like, what the fuck is going on, mom? Oh, and, like, dude. They're like, yeah. And so like, they're trying to get in and like, so there's going to be fights and there's going to be like, oh some my guys God. trying to fuck some other guy's mom and like. Oh, I've got to stop watching <laughs> Frasier. Dude, that's that brutal. brutal. That's Can a you imagine idea. that Milf fucking Manor. pitch? <laughs> like, all right, it's called Milf Manor. I love Listening. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's that old <laughs> Bill Hicks thing. Will it have titties? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus. That's high We quality. need to go further. We need to make it bigger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love it. More controversial. Yeah. But, I mean, you always think how much worse can reality television get, and then they just make you happy. Yeah, for You're sure. Like, yeah, there you go. Milf Manor. Yeah, it goes full circle. Milf yeah, yeah. Manor yeah, sounds man. like a terrible porno. Milf Manor. It exists. <laughs> Welcome to Milf Manor. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm. <laughs> the M. Night Shyamalan twist. You're all related. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome cool. to the Odd Lip and Penis. Yeah. No. All right. Well, um, you know. Yeah. Should we wrap it up? Yeah, yeah maybe it? we should. Do you just want to do some st- talking about some. Um, what are you still on? You aren't just going overseas? You're oh, in a yeah. band. We've got to talk about the fact you're oh, in a fuck. band. I, thought, yeah, I, I band. just thought we were talking shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of... Uh, so, Shane, I, I bought the flights to Europe yesterday. Expensive. Mm, we're going to Europe, yeah. PF's going to China on the way here. Yeah, <laughs> fuck gonna, off. Yeah, we're going to stop in China for a We have a oh. Shanghai 17-hour layover. Yeah. Uh, so it's 10 hours to from Melbourne to Shanghai. And then seventeen hour layover. Oh the privs are going to China. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then no, no, luckily though, and then Shanghai to direct to Madrid. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. we're and trying then, to figure out if we can or we shouldn't play a show. In I, China. Uh, I'm not playing a show. In fucking China. Would yeah, not. I would. I want to sit on, the, on I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah. I I would just stay in the airport That's because airport I, hotel baby. One hundred percent. I'd be like. I'm going to give it a crack. I want to. I dress up like Winnie the Pooh or something. Courage. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd do something stupid. I'd, Same. Yeah, yeah, you know, like... Ooh, Apparently, like, you're only allowed to be in China for 180 hours uh, without a visa as well. Like, like otherwise, beyond that. So, we're only there for, like, seven, like a night. Yeah. So, like, don't don't get don't get stuck in China. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah so you don't want to get Please stuck Please don't get stuck in China. China. If you get stuck in China, you're stuck in China. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if I can get I, you I out don't of China. How, I don't know how the tourism thing is in China at the moment. It's a bit, it's a bit on the fence. Is it all right? Yeah, See, I, think, I can't I think, I think, I think Shanghai yeah. as well. Yeah, it's Shanghai. Yeah. I mean, Shanghai is, like... It's 
you know, it's yeah. been, always been open. Like they've never like there's that myth of no, China totally. being closed. But well, we're flying Chinese open. Eastern Air though, which nice. apparently is a two star airline. No shit. Yeah. How many? How, out of how many stars? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Are we we're talking three stars? I think that's here? two out of five. Oh fuck! Nice. Yeah, it's so yeah, we've got the cheapest so possible <laughs> flights we can get. You yeah, out, it's, seriously, you it's outrageously expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I feel like a fool thinking, let's go to Europe. Yeah, right. But then we got these Chinese flights, and now I feel like, like a king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it, like two star means you actually get a, like every <laughs> a, a, every yeah. <laughs> yeah. But a, a, every row gets like a set of oars just in case. I don't know what I can't wait. Happen, but I um I did specifically book so it's it was like it was one of those planes that has three three three. So oh. I booked I booked one empty one. <laughs> One empty, one oh, empty. So he's one. all going to be doing the lean over and talking. No, I'm trying to fucking get us as much space as possible. Oh, just in That's case cool. no one else books them. Yeah. Can sleep. Yeah. Smart. They're smart. No. Yeah. Oh, who knows? But at the same time, like, uh, yeah, it's true. Worth a shot. I mean, but, but what are people going to China? I don't know. I can't wait. I'm excited about China. I cannot wait. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I, I um, believe in the CCP and I'm, I'm trying to get my social credits. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. So do you reckon that we should? I don't know what the deal with the social credit system is. No, 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 no. But like, no, no, but no, no, I mean, like, I feel like shouldn't we get on top of this now? No. Like, shouldn't we start collecting no, social credit? I was now? a bit worried about flying like China when they were giving them our money. Now you're, there you're, there you're, there you're talking them up. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I'm, I'm right, with him. Hey, I'm uh, for... Gareth, can you edit in like a black bar over his head? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, just... I want the social credit. <laughs> I want him. I'm a collector. I collect anything. No, no, no. It's social still credits are something bar. that I can collect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue the black bar. It. It's like <laughs> yeah. a game of Sonic the Hedgehog. It's just, you're just collecting the rings. Yeah, like the rings. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah. It's, at some point. The only thing you're allowed to do in China is is eat Chinese food. Yeah, I can't wait. Just go get Mexican. That'd be sick. Let's get Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. But what's up? All right, we're wrapping it up. Oh, we've got to wrap up anyway. Nice. Thanks for thanks for calling in, guys. No I worries. Swear, anytime. Um our private function. Oh, I have to do it better than that anyway. We're, we're private function. People and this is shame. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thanks for tuning in. We're yeah, gonna be first back. Podcast. Yeah, Love our it. first one. Thank Thanks you. for doing it, guys. Really appreciate it. Good luck in um, China. I hope you make it to Europe. And uh, likewise, when you get back, I'm sure that you will have many a story. And uh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Ring that and bell. ring the bell. Ring a ding. ding. But ding, also, ding, ding. don't forget to donate to the cause. That's it. Damn the man, save the tote. <laughs> Perfection. We have been Shane, Chris, and Aiden. Thanks. Thank you.